Hello everyone and welcome back guys to more iRacing where today we're here back in the Porsche Cup car. Yes, I had a lot of fun with this thing back towards the end of 2020 season 2 so I thought it only seems fair to give it another go here in 2020 season 3. We've got 15 laps ahead of us to kick off week 1 here from the wonderful Imola circuit. We start P21 as the number 2 car. I'm praying i think for some chaos here so try and pick up some places on that one and see if we can scrape back to neutral eye rating however much 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 more worried about trying to gain some sr as well but we'll wait and see as to how this one goes obviously if this is something you guys do want to enjoy make sure you get yourself subscribed as well for more eye racing content coming to the channel we've been we're planning on doing a fair bit hopefully throughout the first few weeks of this season we'll wait and see how things go uh, when F1 2020 releases and everything like that. But yeah, really, really look forward to trying to jump into some racings over the course of the first half of 2020 Season 3. You know, we've done most of the series so far in Week 1 that I wanted to. Uh, we're probably still going to try and give ILMS a go and maybe IMSA over the weekend, as well as obviously the NASCAR Cup Series, which we're doing as well. But yeah, we're ready then on the grid for the start of this race. Probably going to have to concentrate on the start. Just make sure obviously we keep it nice and tidy. Lights out and away we go. Not off to a particularly great start. We're going to slightly better start than down on the side though. Alexa, stop. Don't know what that's about. Anyway. Down into towards turn one, already got some chaos, and already a wheel gone. Yep, that's not good for some people. So people aren't already happy with each other, but I think we're up three spots off the start. Then we get a good run off of turn three. The inside maybe of this guy. Someone else is gone. Is this guy going to keep the nose there? Yes, he is, but we get round him, another car gone. We're up a few more spots then. But yeah, we just need to try and keep it nice and tidy on this first lap. Someone else gone. See you later. So I don't know how many spots are up on this opening lap so far. I think it's six, maybe seven. But I mean, I think we'll need like a top ten if we want to gain any eye rating. It's like a 25 car field. And we, like I said, it is a fairly actually mixed up SOF. Normally it's only about 150, 200 between top and bottom in the lobbies I end up racing. But this one's got about 350, 400. You're just clipping the curbs a bit too much there. Car not liking that on cold tyres. But yeah, actually, yeah, got like a 350, 400 uh, I rating range in this one, which obviously, to good people, doesn't sound like much. You'll get multiple thousand in the higher end lobbies, but for us, normally it's fairly bunched up. So yeah, like I said, we'll probably need a top 10 in this one to gain any SR, but any IR, sorry, but SR is the focus, like I said. Don't really want to lose RB license within a week of getting it. At the final corner though, we have, by the looks of it, survived the opening lap. Zero X as well, things you love to see. As we're in the slip street, what position are we going to be up into then? Come on, uh, P13. That's okay. This guy's breaking a little bit earlier than I personally would be. Down into turn one. So that's minus 12 I rating if we finish here. So yeah, P11 I think then is what we need for positive. Might have start filling this guy's mirrors a bit, see if we can force him into an error. Just not quite getting the car rotated through there. Someone just in front has made a mistake though. Left side, clear left. Just try and get around him. Oh, another guy in front gets just a little bit loose. Maybe this guy's going to try and go for the send. Yes, he is. Hopefully, we can try and capitalise. Right so, we're up two spots. We'll slot back in behind this guy, though. Back in still likes to get a little bit loose and lively. It's just about trying to get the tyres up temperature in this thing still, I always find. Don't want to do that, buddy. We'll take that. Thank you. So I think we're up into the top ten now. Just trying to be cool, calm, and collected. Carve our way through this mid pack. That corner 
are so difficult to try and break for in this. Obviously, you've got the gravity working. I say with you, but it is against you, really, in these sorts of cars about ABS. It just drags you further and further down the hill, which is not fun. Top guy's already back down into the 47s, though. You're in a 46s by the looks of it. So, 10th place, then. What's that on the old I rating? Plus 11. That would be good. I take that. we got a little bit of track space as well now in front of us. Let's just try and pound out some laps. He's still getting a bit loose. This thing will do it. Obviously the new tyre model tweaks have made the GT3s a little bit easier. Or a little bit more predictable even I should say. Porsche Cup car though does genuinely to me feel a, a tiny bit more loose and lively. But you never know. Three seconds though to the guys in front. We just gotta focus on seeing if we can extend the margin to the guys behind. And keep it between the white lines as we do it. Trying to avoid the curve through there. Roll it onto the outside curve just to open up the corner as much as possible. Use the exit curving as well. It's a fine bounce around him a little bit. It is a good fun track to race at every once in a while. It's certainly I know a lot of people really do love this place, is we get a bit deep into the chicane. Personally, I don't mind it as a racetrack, but I feel it's a little bit overrated, in all honesty. But it's still good fun to race around in something like this. Chuck it through the final couple of corners. Ooh, guy behind is looking quick though. Got a bit of a breakaway to P11. Oh, sorry, P12 even, sorry, I should say. This is going to be a 47, by the looks of it. That's our racing's lying to me. Yep, 47-7. So this guy, yeah, just be honest, does seem to be very much on the pace, but I think we're closing in on these two just in front of us as well. So I'll wait and see as to what we can do. Just roll it through the corners. Tyres are basically up to scrub now. So we should be able to get pretty much maximum performance out of them. Just chuck it in. Hope it sticks. Sometimes it will. Every once in a while it will just go, actually I'm not feeling it. Yeah, we'll see if we can... We want to obviously be aiming for consistent low 47s. Always the way. We can sneak a couple of 46s. I'd be very, very happy about that. But like I said, we need to focus on 0x. Or as close to 0x as possible. Just be smooth on the pedals. It is always a bit of a weird thing, the fact this car is the pinnacle now of iRacing. Because it is quite a raw driving experience still. Obviously, you haven't got the ABS or the traction control. But obviously I know still a lot of people just aren't a fan of it. This guy behind's gone, so that's going to give us a bit of breathing room. That's nice. Again, we don't have to focus on our mirrors anymore. But I was just feeling this car, you don't get that much feel about what the brakes are doing. They're either obviously locked or they're not, but you don't really know too much until they lock. But yeah, this is going to be a very, very low 47 now. 47-1. So we're not actually that far off top, guys. Yeah, 47 1 exactly. Ooh, talking about locking up. Cut the sausage curve through turn 1. Not quite what I wanted, but we'll take it. Yeah, we are definitely taking time out of the two in front of us, though. So maybe sort of P8 on the cards. Saying that, appears that they've now closed up to another couple. The gap in front is now 4.5 seconds. But we just got to keep our head down, focus on our own race at the moment. Try to sort of work out what the car's doing in a couple of places. Don't clip a wheel on the grass, thank you. Close. That was 
very, very close. Sausage curbs, best as possible. That's so satisfying to get right. But very, very difficult to do so. I think this P8 guy is a little bit slower than the pair of us. So, it's whether we can try and sneak past both of them in one go, or sneak past one of them and then attack him, or what, I don't know. 46 6 though. That's good, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Well done, good pass. Just gotta try and slice and dice. Get the power as early as possible. They're a little bit loose, but hold on to it. Oh my god, you break early there. Oh, someone's gone. Flaps car. Damn it. I've been quite happy with P8. Too worried about the guy behind. We're focusing on this guy. He's just breaking sort of 20 meters too early into that. I think people use the 100 meter hold because it's quite an easy breaking point to spot, but you can get away with about 80. Probably top guys are doing it sort of 60, 70, I would have thought, but we're not that good. Let's just feel inside wheel there, trying to lock up a bit, but. Just like getting away with it. Good run out the final corner though. So we're about on pace there with the top guys. Let me get a clean lap. This guy might give it to me down into turn one. There we go. Nice and calm. And we're to P7. Oh, P8 even, sorry. Don't let the back end get loose there. I still never know if I'm a fan of those sorts of chicanes. Well, that was me. A bit much on the brakes there. Sort of worked it out and had to roll it in. But it worked in the end for us. This satisfying when you get this thing in a good window. Oh, that's not where you want to be. Free spot for us then. Thank you very much. I'm at a P7. P6 might be on the table. Again, just going a little bit too hot into that. Snagged the brake right when we didn't need to. Yeah, we'll see if we can close up to this guy though, but we're doing alright. It's been a good little calm so far. Oh, nosing, nosing, nosing. Ugh. That was almost our first instant point of the day. But we got away with it. That was a 47.2. We'll see if we can try and set some consistent 47s. Or 40, high 46s, even. Once again, the back end just trying things. Come on, you.
is looking like it's holding fairly stable, but we'll keep pushing. Oh, again, just chuck it in a bit too deep. Just throwing away easy time that we shouldn't be losing. I think if we're consistent, we have got the pace over this guy, but that's just about trying to get the laps nailed in. Focus. Got a nice little gap to the guys behind them. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, really haven't spent much time focusing on the mirrors this race, which has been nice. Yeah, now the gap has come down by a couple of tenths then, despite the sloppy lap. I think up the road. Trying to use the engine brake a little bit more, see if we can get away with that. It's horrible as well, obviously, because you can't short shift this thing. Because obviously, where it just lights up its rear wheels, your wheels spin anyway, no matter what gear you're in. Taking a couple of tents out of it, though. That's good. That felt really nice through there. Don't think we could do that again if we tried. Well, let's try and set some 46s. Nine then, so we've only got another five to go. Or six even. What's this time gonna be? Four six five. That's what I like to see. And I do not want to know how fast the top guys will go. See, it'll be much, much quicker than that. And take a good chunk of time out of the guy then. Hold of the exit curb through there. You're gaining on this guy. The gap's Come on, we can do this. Second out second in the last couple of laps. Won't be out there, though. Not much grip out there, funnily enough. as much exit curbs you can take. Wonder if he's trying to close it on the guys in front. And obviously we're just trying to close it on him. It's gonna be another mid 46 though. Well high 46. Forty six six eight. Yep. Five to go though. Set the fastest times. Not often does that happen on iRacing, I'll be honest. Perhaps we should have qualified. <laughs> Almost jinxed it. Come on. Get the nose in.
we click the curve through there, and when you struggle to get the front end dialed in rather than struggling with understeer. This guy's only got 1.5k I rating there. Oh no. Come on, little cow. Four more to go. If you can just get onto the back of him and then try and force errors out of him, that'd be wonderful. Push, 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 we can get this guy. Four more to go. Five more laps of fuel. We don't have to worry about that. That's nice. Oh. Right in those curbs. Don't get loose there again on me, please. Yeah, let's get a little bit wild. Still P7, I don't know why I said up in two. Plus 35 I rate now if we finish the overtake, it's very, very close to 2k. Can't remember what we're on at the moment. Wow, oh, that's awful through there though. It wouldn't quite get us over the 2k margin, but it would certainly put us very, very close. Oh come on, what's that? Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Oh. Back in, really tried it then. That's cost us. Oh, that's so annoying. These the robatsas? I don't know. Come on. We need three tiny laps to the flag. Again, what am I doing that for? Oh, oh that's come. Well, some struggling. Come on, you. Quick but careful. That's what we need to the line, to the flag. Right in front makes a bit of a mistake there. Oh, <laughs> this thing's still trying to get loose and lively with us. It basically, as much curbs I race and I'll let you get away with. Traffic doesn't cost us too much. If it helps out, that'd be wonderful, but I'm not optimistic. Two more to go. That was a good tidy lap. Gaps down to a second. Hopefully, this guy will get out our way as well. Looks like, yeah, we should be able to get the run in him. There we go, thank you very much. So, but yeah, he has helped us out quite a bit then. That's not good. Oh! No idea what's happened there, but that's us up at another spot. So, top five might be on the cards. Oh my god, it's all kicking off. Oh my god. Oh, what's that, man? What an awful rejoin. 
what on earth are you doing? And the Zero X dream is over. And once again, it's going to be another 4X that there wasn't much we could really do, because we were both going to be able to quite clearly avoid that guy, had he not decided to just rejoin. But out of all of that, a podium now might be possible. That was beyond stupid. Big gains there into the breaking zone. Come on, we can do this. One more to go. Oh, a guy in front gets loose. It's all getting spicy. So there's a lot of time down the straight. He's going to go defensive into one. Around the outside. Around the outside. There we go. Other guy, not too sure what he was trying. Up into the podium. With one lap to go, though. Almost blew the engine, I would have thought. Probably closer than it should have been. Right, come on, keep it tidy. Half a lap to go. Issues. A little bit loose and lively there, but we've survived the most difficult couple of corners towards the end. Get it slowed down nicely into here. One more corner to go then. Through the final turn. It's going to be, what, P21 to P3 in the space of 15 laps there. Very, very happy with that one at the end of the day. Across the line. How much high rating is that? 60 off? 67 I rating. We will take that very, very happily. We'll get through the first couple of corners. Still gutted about the 4x because that would have been, well, depending obviously how that action all kicked off, everything like that. That could have very easily been 21st to 3rd without any instant points as well. But thank you all so much for watching this video nonetheless. If you did enjoy, do make sure you do get yourself subscribed. That might actually have got us above 2k. We will have to wait and see. But yeah, that'll do us for this one though, guys, and I will see you all in the next video.